Uh, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Isaac Christopher Lubuku, and today I want to talk about what they call winning uh, by losing, what they call a given paradox. The you know, counterintuitive path uh, to success through failure. And many times we, uh, we neglect this argument called failure and we resort to, to a lot of what? Uh, pain without really understanding that uh, failure can actually lead to success in one or the other. So sometimes I see uh, many tears that we shed or what my friends shed, uh, the secret nights they spent in terms of doing certain things and then the doubts that creep in and the shadows. And, and you can feel the heaviness of their hearts in terms of the sense of purpose that is temporarily lost. Uh, and then uh, you discover that you invested your soul, you, your money, your energy, uh, you know, and, and your dream has got to an end and rejection comes your way and you reflect on, on your worth and you feel terrible. But rising from ashes, you know, in terms of the message of hope, it's important for us to understand that resiliency is something that you need to, uh, you know, to embrace in such a time. In such journeys are going to happen to our lives, you know. And uh, in terms of uh, a tribute, we have to be courageous, we have to acknowledge it bravely, we have to know that, that life is a journey and not a destination. We have to be careful that whatever challenge comes our way, some will be good, some will be bad, but we should be mindful to adapt and co-opt. So in these moments of heartbreak that we discover the weight of worth, you know, unpacking the value beyond victory. So our value lies not in the external validation, but in the courage uh, to persevere from heartbreak to resiliency in terms of uh, redemption. So we have to be ready to transform and to avoid any kind of disappointment that may come our way. So an unbroken spirit is what you need to comprehend in terms of uh, the, the, the beauty of overcoming defeat, you know, and rekindling the passion after loss. You have to ignite, to refuel, and also to, to determine to rise again. Okay, in loss, land and lifted, uh, stories of uh, unyielding resolve. We find solace in the experiences of others who have actually walked the same path, you know. So the phoenix basically rises, transforming uh, defeat into triumph in terms of uh, emerging, uh, become, making us wiser or even more careful. So through the shadow of courage, we have a glimpse of the contours of our own strength in terms of uh, the dreams and, and to remind us of our own unwavering determination and the whispers of resiliency, the unbroken spirit that illuminates uh, in terms of darkness. And this is something that I would like to encourage you. So in the silence of this strength of uh, these so-called defeated souls, please find the power to overcome. And this should be your story in terms of overcoming any adversity that may come your way. So I'd like to encourage you to navigate these complexities and defeat and discover a transformative power in terms of resiliency. Your worth, remember, isn't defined by, its, uh, by this outcome. Your value lies in the courage that you showed and your voice should amplify you and change you to a much better individual. Remember that why, you know, why that drove you to the run. It is still valid, okay? And the fire that burned within you hasn't, you know, frizzed out, but it has just been tempered with. As Maya Angela wisely said, you may not control all the events that happen to you, but you can actually decide not to be reduced by them. So don't let this setback, uh, you know, strive for or stifle your spirit. You are not alone in this journey. Please be strong. You are not walking alone. You will overcome. Remember, Nelson Mandela spent quite a long time, 27 years in prison before he was becoming, before he became a symbol of hope. People like Abraham Lincoln, for example, lost eight elections before becoming even president. People like J.K. Rawlings, his first book was actually rejected 12 times. <laughs> Talk about my books that people criticize race and center because of a year not peer-reviewed. How about people like those who became stars tomorrow? Now we are revising. Now we are peer-reviewing. Let's wait for them to say whatever they want to say. So your story, my friend, isn't over. The chapter may have ended. But the next one is awaiting. So take time to grieve, yes. To heal, yes. To recharge, yes. Then rise again 
your voice, your passion, your leadership are needed now more than ever. You are actually stronger than you think, braver than you actually feel. You are more resilient than you actually know. So keep moving forward. Even when the path ahead seems uncertain, your impact will be felt. Your legacy will be built. Your name will be remembered. Remember, hold on to hope. Hold on to yourself and know that you are not alone. God bless you and thank you for your attention.